I'm going to cover uh, the desktop recording. Okay, then click on uh, new sequence and go here and create a new sequence. Okay, so here I'm going to automate the same application. Okay, the same application I'm going to automate the same way uh, what I did here in the basic recording. And uh, so just go here in the recording option, click on desktop and uh, click on recording. And uh, so highlight this uh, calculator, then uh, go to click on 5, then uh, plus, click on plus and again 5, then equal okay then press escape button and go and save this uh, save option okay now you see there is a one more uh, uh, i mean there is a different uh, uh, activity that is attach window you see here in the selector and it's captured the parent uh, uh, select ui element okay the parent element so here it's captured so inside uh, attach window so all other activity has been placed okay let's say uh, clicking on the um, calculator if you go here and here this you, here you see the first line is hidden okay because already the parent is took a control of this application and no i don't want to keep this parent in all the activity to enable okay so only this is enough and go and check here and uh, if you click on this and here also you see this header is disabled and uh, only it's captured um, the selector only respective to this uh, 5 button okay so that's how it works so compared to basic and uh, desktop recording and desktop recording is more reliable and uh, so we can use the desktop recording for uh, complex process also okay so let's say uh, if I say complex and uh, so if you use basic recording, so I have a demo app like you know uh, uh, any teller, okay, let me close this. So I will tell you how to download this uh, Windows application. So here, this is the Windows application. So you can use the basic recording for you know, recording notepad actions and uh, you know, uh, calculator, some kind of basic things. So it comes to desktop and there will be a lot of options here. Um, uh, radio button and uh, there will be a checkbox and there will be a uh, drop down also right so for those kind of uh, uh, if, if you want to handle those kind of applications and de definitely you have to use the desktop application I mean desktop recording okay now I'm going to uh, create one more desktop recording uh, demo so let's say click on sequence and uh, desktop desktop recording and uh, two okay and here so i'm going to use same recording option click on desktop and uh, go to this application before that you click on record button and uh, just highlight this uh, application windows application next i'm going to click on this deposit button radio button and then here i have to uh, enter the, my cache okay once you click on this particular place bot automatically recognize that a hey, this is text uh, box uh, do you want to include any text here yes i want to include text then you can type some amount here then if you there is two option if you want to type password you can click on this uh, check box or else if you if you click this empty field so whenever you run this uh, particular step and it will always remove the old existing value and the uh, it will enter the enter your new value and i click on empty field then again click here and uh, press enter okay now again there is another two places i'm going to add some uh, something here and the empty field then enter then here let me add some amount here also and then empty field and click on enter okay now you see there is something is uh, added here and I'm going to click on accept okay then I press escape and then save and exist you see here so all the options are captured here so 
this is for click uh, for clicking on the option it's a uh, taken the uh, click activity for typing uh, values uh, it's a uh, no um, used a uh, type into activity automatically so or else what we can do so manually uh, if you are going to automate and uh, we use uh, activity called type into so we know that right so what i am going to do um, each and every step so I'm going to I'm I'm going to uh, click on it. So I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to type here. Then I'm going to click here. So that is how uh, we do, right? So each and every step we need to use the appropriate um, activities. So here it's automatically capturing that particular activity. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, run this entire file. Click on run file. You see. It's a click the deposit and it's entering the amount and now it's ac click on accept. Okay, and this is how it will work. So if you want to automate some kind of desktop application, so definitely go with this recording. And uh, so my suggestion is do not uh, so just only know uh, only know just know know that there is an option. Uh, we have it uh, to recording it. Okay, otherwise do not use it. Because we have uh, all the activ activities available in the activity panel, you can utilize that one. Okay, and uh, this recording may be the beginners, they can use it for this recording options. And uh, can you?